don't know. And I can't change Even if I tried Even if I wanted to Hi, hi, hi. Welcome back to another video on my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, hey girl. Did my stomach hurt. <laughs> I got to do these little leggings on and they squeeze in my stomach. Suffocating my stomach. I breathe. I'm sorry. I'm trying to look cute. It's not easy. It's not easy, girl. Let me take the gun out, too. I'm not professional. Can you guys see me and I'm in my good in this camera? I think you guys need to see a little bit more head. So, we're going to bring that back a little bit. Woo! No, we not. Hi, you guys. Welcome back to another video on my channel. Before we get into this video, make sure you guys like and subscribe to my channel. So, this video is just a quick reminder video of who you are as a person and what you bring to the table. You are different and you are unique for a reason. There's a reason why God gave you your uniqueness, your difference. Embrace it. Embrace it fully. I just want to tell you that, like, he made you different. He said that... I got something in you that I want you to show the world. And the crazy thing about it is when we tap into our difference and when we tap into what makes us us, people love it. That be the main, like what makes you different is the main thing that attracts people to you. That's like, oh my gosh, I ain't never seen that in Insta, nobody. You, you different. So I want to, I want to attract myself to you i want to pull close to you but we fail to think that we think that oh if we be like everybody else if we be the same if we be in the crowd then then we're going to gravitate more people i guess of that crowd but it's like when you stand out and when you different in whatever you do whether it's how you dress whether it's your personality whether it's how you wear your hair whether it's how you do your makeup whether it's how you do something that just makes you pop girl like i know for me i gravitate towards it you know i'm a girl that loves i love people that that is themselves and i love people that can dress like those are my two things that i just when i see somebody really embracing who they are and when i see somebody that can dress that dress different girl i'm like i gotta follow you i gotta i gotta keep up with you because i'm like wow you had the courage to get up here and dress how you want to dress you have the courage to get up here and be be who you are your personality whatever you have the courage to showcase this i see that every single time you embrace your difference and you showcase your difference so so many people gravitate towards you people want to see different we think that everybody we think that everybody wants to see the perfect this and the perfect that but it's like no there's so many people that want to see different they want to see uniqueness i was really thinking i was at work and i was just thinking and i was like you know i was going through a time in my life this was like high school when i was really you know just following the crowd and you know i don't like to admit that because of the fact that like I always try to make sure that I, I do different, I be different, that I carry myself different because growing up, my mom always used to be like, you don't need to be like nobody else. You need to stay true to who you are. Don't follow the crowd. She used to preach that. And so with that being said, I try to stay true to that. And um, there was just a point in time I was really trying to be a part of a certain crowd. So back in high school, you know, everybody was doing a little this. They was doing a little... They was doing a lot of that in high school. And so I was going through a time in my life. It was just a very hard time in my life. Just real dark. That was probably like one of my first dark times, right? So I started doing this too. I started indulging, indulging in it. And um, when I was indulging in these things, it was fun in the beginning. And it was fun when I was doing it with the people that I was around. But when I would try to do it myself... I, I just felt so like I'm just like I just felt so down it just made me feel worse right the first thing I had to realize that me smoking on my little Mary wasn't what was making me happy it was just the people that I was surrounding myself with at the time that was making me happy because when I did it by myself I used to feel so terrible right so that was my first like sign that like this is not you my second sign y'all I remember this so clearly I had came home and I was laying in my bed and by this time I'm schmizzed right I'm laying in my bed 
and I just hear a, a voice, I heard a voice say like, this is not you. This isn't you. And when I heard that voice, I just started crying. I started bawling like a baby. I was like, oh my gosh, God, help me, help me. Like, just going, <laughs> just going crazy. Like, just help me because I knew it wasn't me. I knew that this wasn't, this is not you. Like, you don't do this. In the back of my head, like, even though I was doing it now in this present moment, I knew that five years, 10 years, eight years, from now, I wasn't gonna be doing this. I knew that, so it was just kind of like, why are you doing it now if you know this is not how you wanna live your life? Like, you know this is not what you want to um, include into your life. That season in my life, everybody was doing it. Like, that was a senior thing, the 12th grade year thing. Like, everybody just, we just do it, right? And I was just like, wow. Like, you could've, just, could you not have just not done it? Like, could you not have just hold off on that one girl? You didn't really need to do it, but you know, you live and you learn, it's okay. I know now, and I'm able to tell you guys now that it don't matter if everybody drinking. It don't, it don't matter if everybody smoking. It don't matter if everybody having sex. You're different. God made you different. He said, honey, you're different, child. My daughter, my son, you are different. And I'm gonna need you to tap into your different. You need to stop going off. I'm, I'm recording a video. Relax. But yes, God said you're different. He said, tap into your difference. Tap into what makes you unique. Like I said, I know my head makes me unique. My head makes me who I am. I can I can't change it. And and honestly, this head right here, this little head right here, can put me in so many different positions, like with modeling agencies, with things like that. They like difference. They like people that look different. They like people that got big heads. They got freckles. They got big noses. They like things like that. So remember that your difference brings something to the table. We got people on this earth that literally their differences are are visual they're seen some people don't got legs some people you know body didn't form right some people got real life differences right they go out and they have that courage to face life every day with how they look with no legs with one arm with two fingers like they have the courage to go do that but people like us that we we look like majority like normal I don't want to say normal because that's not the right word. They're normal too, but you guys know what I mean. Us, we, we sitting up here trying to be like everybody else. We sitting up here not even trying to embrace, like we, we kind of have a little easier in the world and we don't even want to embrace our uniqueness, what we got going on. Be yourself. Dress how you want to dress. You don't got to dress like every Instagram model on Instagram. We, we tired of them. We tired of seeing that. I want to see how you put together that outfit, girl. You embracing your differences can put you on to so many, so many levels, so many, so many paths, so many, like, so many successes, you know, than if you was to try to be like the next person. God said, no, I need you to be like you because you got something special. That's what he said. That's what my God said. This is on my mind yesterday when I was at work. And I was like, ooh, he said be different. He said you're different. He didn't say be different. He already made you different. He said you're different. And I just wanted to share that with you guys. It's important that we embrace the uniqueness that he gave us. We don't gotta be like everybody else. We don't, we don't. It's so beautiful and so amazing to see people that just fully embrace who they are. Like, we don't get that nowadays. It's so rare. It's like a rare commodity, like a, a small commodity. And there's so many people in this world. Just true, true. Cause all I wanna be is sure. <laughs> but no, for real. Tusi said this. Remember they told me my voice sounded funny. Now when I talk, I make money. Remember when they told me my voice sounded funny. Yeah. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Remember they told me my voice sounded funny. Yeah, now when I talk, I make money. If you guys don't know who Tusi is, he's a rapper. And his voice is like different. Like he got a different flow, a different swag, a different sound to his voice. So when he said this, I said, oh yeah. 
I gotta refer back to this. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope that you guys learned something from this video. Spread the word, spread the love. I keep on forgetting like when I do sit down talking videos, I have to do the spread the word, spread the love, cause that was my thing. And I'ma make that my thing. With that being said, you guys, spread the word, spread the love. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I love you guys so much. We are at 77 subscribers. Let's get to 100 by the end of the summer. I love you guys so much and we gone.